Hi, I'm Monica. I'm the technology half of this team, and um, I build stuff. I've built stuff for Macy's, AAA, Disney, some people you know, and now I came to the startup world to build fun stuff. Um, hi, I'm, I'm just going to come over here, I feel like, that we can separate a little. I'm Marcy. Um, I founded a connector on which used to be called Silver Seeker, um, like a year and a half ago. Um, quick background on how that happened. I am definitely 85 on the inside. Don't let this fool you. Um, <laughs> and I really wanted to get into the aging space. That's where I feel comfortable. So in business school, I uh, asked a beautiful an independent learning facility if I could intern there um, for free, and they said yes. And I noticed a lot of um, the residents there, despite the amenities, activities, everything at their fingertips, um, they were seriously isolated. Uh, there is literally somebody next door uh, that they wouldn't introduce themselves to because at any age it's awkward to just knock on doors and ask people if they're interested in, in bocce ball. Um, so it, it made me really upset. Um, and it brought me back quickly to college. Um, when I was at Penn, um, Facebook was not what it is today. It was version one. Um, and we don't say the word Facebook to our users because they don't like the word Facebook, but I'll say to you to give you an idea of what we are. Um, we are original college Facebook. Uh, so what does that mean? When I was at Penn, I came all the way from LA, and I didn't know anyone, and Facebook showed up and said, we're this private network just for Penn, and you have to be a Penn student to get in and we need to verify you with your Penn email address. And Harvard has one, and Yale has one, and X has one, but you can't talk to them. You can only talk within Penn, so it's safe. And you'll match with people in your econ class, with people that move across the country, and you can coordinate. And I'm like, awesome, you know, that's great. I'll sign on, and that's how that happened. So let's take that concept, and let's bring it to the people who, that are 55 and over, who don't have anything made for them, for their eyes, and help them connect and coordinate with their communities. Let's reveal the people and the you know opportunities that they didn't know were there and facilitate what's already great and just make it more visible and um, less socially awkward. So that's connect around essentially, um, and that's what our vision is. So, uh, Kari, you were talking about bringing fun back. Uh, we have wiped out any any health related things right now. There's plenty of people doing an amazing job at that. We are just focused on fun, peer to peer. We're focused on being flirty. Um, we, we are really an ageless brand. We just happen to design for the 55 plus I, quite frankly. Um, and I'm obsessed with the 55 plus I, and I don't want to go anywhere else right now. And um, I brought Monica in too, and she's converted. So um, really what we're doing in the background is promoting healthy aging. So rather than sitting alone, you might have joined a card game you would have. Or if you can't drive at night, you're not gonna to go to that show unless you shout out and a neighbor happened to answer that they could drive you. Um, even if you broke something and you're stuck in your room, um, getting on this site and just interacting a little bit with someone is better for your brain than sitting and watching TV. So this is really the, the real vision here is to help people. Uh, we are not a social enterprise, technically we're not for profit, we're a for profit business. But I feel like that's one of the innovations Katie talked about, you know, getting more for profits into the space, doing good things. Um, so, sorry, I'm glad to that. Monica's going to show you what are we talking about um, with the demo. So. Maybe. If I can find an internet. It's on Chrome, I think. So here's our site. They can come and find their community. And um, we're in several right now. I'm going to go ahead and log into our demo community so that I don't share anyone's data. Um, so they get this page when they start and they haven't been on this computer. I've obviously logged in, but this, you know, talking about the training, it's the first page we do for them, show them their, how to create their profile, upload their photos, find their neighbors, um, things like that. So the place that they tend to land on the most is their neighbors. So they want to see who's in their communities. They want to see who has interests that are the same as theirs. They can do this easily by clicking on one of these and it will bring up all their neighbors that are also interested in golf so they can find them. They can search. Um, we have all of their calendar for the community up there so that they can see what's going on, you know, tennis, golf, things like that. We have a lot of different search options for them for the calendar because there's so many ways to search a calendar. Um, 
And then we also are working right now very hard to get all their groups and clubs on. Right now we just have some book club, um, and this is our demo site, so we let them ask to have more about that. And then our favorite and where they interact the most right now is our bulletin board. So we have um, updates from their management. They have a crime scam alert, which we also email out to them and, uh, and let them know what's going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, so uh, they actually, this gets the most click through in our emails, this crime alert. So we let them chat with each other and that's a quick, quick demo of the site. Very quick. So if you, if you want to see more, or we can we even have you give you demo access, so just see us after. Um, and Monica's done. Do you want to talk about the design process? Uh, sure. So we worked with some designers and um, um, an eye doctor who's, I can never remember what that word is, um, to figure out the high contrast needed and that um, they like the bold colors and, you know, big buttons. And literally, Marcy and I are always saying, um, She's like, can you make the button bigger? So that's why you see these huge buttons on there. So that was our process. And then we went through our basic font size is several higher than the internet standard. So as you guys could see, but yeah. Um, and on that note, I think one of the reasons I'm so you know impressed and proud of Monica and the design team is because I think we've really, it's been a long but year and a half of learning, by the way. Our first product was so friendly. Um, but I think we've really been able to not, how do I say this nicely? I'm on video, so I have to be careful. Um, a lot of the products for the older adults in this country look as if they're for mentally disabled people, which there are a lot of products that, that's needed, dementia, patients, but they're, they're not. Um, it's like when somebody says they don't speak English and you start screaming at them as if they can't hear. Um, I don't wanna, have that kind of product when I'm you know, 80 and I feel like I'm 60, I'm 27 right now, I feel like I'm 16. So we're really trying to design for everyone. Um, so it doesn't look like it's for a 55 year old or a two year old, it just, it just is what it is and it's very clear. But Monica did a really good job of making sure we don't make assumptions. An arrow doesn't mean next to everyone, it only means next to people under 40, that's it. You know, so we're, we try to pay attention to those little things. Um, and I'm always a fan of bigger and bigger font size, so we have that argument all the time. Um, so just, you know, quickly, because I know time's limited, these are some user quotes. Again, we used to be called Silver Seeker from our original pilot community. Um, so as far as where we are right now, we relaunched and rebuilt this site from the pilot, uh, which was a, almost a year long. We really took a, it took a long time. A lot of listening was done. Um, and uh, we finally got up. I needed to find Monica too, which um, was worth the wait. She's amazing. Um, and uh, now we just expanded to two more communities in Northern California. Um, and we're also taking requests from communities, um, doing our first New York community this month. Um, and just as an FYI, we have two ways of getting a, a connect around site. One is we grassroots to you, which is what you have to do in the beginning. You gotta fight your way in. Um, so we send a, we identify a community, maybe we know a couple people there that they think this would be great for them. So we take the public records and send postcards with unique codes, which I had. Um, we send these postcards and they have a code on them. Um, and they say, this is what we are, this is who we are. Go to this website and enter this code for your site private network. Um, and that works well. We do some Facebook ads for those that are already on Facebook and we kind of do grassroots, community driven. And then we kind of tap management on the shoulder and we're like, hey, just so you know, like, this is what's going on. And if you want to get into it, you can do that. Uh, much like Yammer. Has anyone heard of Yammer? It's like the social network for workplaces. It's fun. Look it up. Um, or you can come to us as a management company and say, we really love this. You know, for our community, it will really drive in the younger people, and I think people that are isolated will feel good about themselves, and, and we're just like, hey, yeah, let's do it. So uh, that's how we got New York. Um, so basically, this is our contact. Um, seriously, like, if you think that this would be something helpful, um, it is free right now. Um, we have air, our primary revenue stream is local merchant pages. So uh, the people that surround the community asked me if they could advertise, and I said, yeah, but you can't access my people, and they said, that's fine. Um, they pay us, and guess who our sales force is? Is anyone over 55 in this room? You got, well, you don't admit it, but if you are, you're the sales force. Um, our residents and the communities 
and uh, we're not in skilled nursing. We are in active adult and maybe CCRC, uh, but they are our sales force. We hire from them, um, and they make a mission. And we're a true believer in our in the company culture. We want to build is we want to have most of our workforce uh, in the over 55 group that we're targeting. So um, it's all really fun and great, and it's some seriously hard work. Um, but I think there's a lot of people in this space that are fighting a good fight, and I had the pleasure of going to St. Barnabas with uh, Dave, invited by Davis two days ago to watch that class. Uh, it was incredible. The people in that in that facility were just literally using Google Maps, and they were like, "This is my house," and I'm like, "Wow, yes, it is." You know, that's what I use every day too. And they were fighting to learn, and I think it shows it's really the time. The time is right to start taking you know, advantage of this. And they weren't using tablets. They were using laptops, laptops that they'd see at their grandchild's house. Um, <coughs> so they'll be able to take those skills anywhere they go. Um, and that was incredible and really validating for us that this is the right time for us to be doing this. So thanks, Davis. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, we haven't had even the time to build out those features that they requested to pay for, to be quite honest. We're just kind of obsessed with our peer-to-peer -peer aspect, and we have the management bulletin board. When we are able to build those other management tools, they'll be able to pay for them. Um, right now, we're an invested, invested startup. Like, we have uh, investors, um, just like Carissa. Yeah. Carissa. Um, so we have a little bit of revenue coming in for our local merchants, but that isn't going to go as quickly as we need to scale, so uh, we're just... Startup. Any, any other, do you have any other things to say about that? No, the local merchants will give us money in millions of dollars in a few years. <laughs> <laughs>